This is our meditation room. Just found I would show you what we have in here. Christianity study and Judaism along the van we have posters as to show a little bit of the details remembering that we are all about one common faith here is our Baha'i library our worship for all the faiths and Baha'i history Many writings. Some dust from inside the house of the Bab in Shiraz. Some dust from inside the shrine at Sheikh Tabarsi. A thread of Abdul Baha's Abba. dust from Latha Root's grave and her little teaching booklets remembering the New York Congress this was a gift presented to Kerala from a German pioneer Eventually, it ended up being sold by and purchased by a German Baha'i and given to the Unity Museum. A piece of wood from the house of Abdu Baha, of, excuse me, a house of wood from the house of Baha'u'llah in Tehran. Tablet of the Baha to the Baha'is in Seattle a hand-sewn pouch, hand-sewn by the greatest holy leaf that contained the dust from inside Sheikh Tabarsi. Let me see if I can find a way that you can see the hair of Abdul Baha and I think that light does not allow me to reflect that. But there is a hair of Abdu Baha inside. A piece of glass from the house of Baha'u'llah in Tehran. Some candy from the house of the Bab in Shiraz. Dawnbreaker, meaning a review copy that was sent to the National Spiritual Assemblies by the Guardian as a preview before the publication of the Dawnbreakers that then, of course, went around the world. Just then 
here we have actually the Venice Library uh, Bible sorry 1828 as you can tell or we go 1835 and uh, 1831 1828 anyway and the Quran and the various scriptures and here we then have writings of Buddha, Islam, Zoroaster, maps, and of course we respect all diverse cultures, and famous Ruth Moffat's chart of world religions. And so I once again then will close off and share with you our meditation room. And I just want to share that here we have when our friends in Vietnam were imprisoned and their books were taken away. They, from memory, would meet and rewrote the Baha'i writings. And this became then, while it's in prison, those became their Baha'i books. And so, I was presented with a copy of one of their Baha'i books. And and uh, send a copy to the House of Justice. However, they made a copy and gave me back the original. And so I say, Allahu Akbar.